Hey, welcome to Wild Man Adventures. This week we're going to talk about the building of Shotgun Harry. So all you guys know that I've been ate up with monster trucks my whole life. In the 80s, the monster trucks came out and it just totally affected my whole way of thinking. I could not think of anything other than monster trucks. So, um, you know, loved going and seeing trucks and everything. And the dream was to have my own truck. So I started learning and figuring out how to do things. And I started designing and coming up with ideas. Well, I bought an old International Scout. Um, the International Scouts had a lot of history in my family. My dad worked at the International Harvester uh, Assembly Plant in Fort Wayne. And uh, so he always bought a new Scout every couple of years. And it was kind of like that was our family vehicle. So we always were in Scouts. Um, I bought an old Junker Scout in the 80s and decided to build a monster truck out of it. So um, actually originally the name was going to be something different and I was going to use an international motor and everything. But uh, so started building that in the 80s, really didn't have any money. I just had a lot of desire to build a monster truck. So I was learning and I learned how to weld and I learned how to, to the mechanics. And it was all about wanting to do a monster truck. And uh, so basically in the, uh, I never got it finished and ended up in my grandma's barn in the uh, mid, early mid 90s. Um, when I got a job working for somebody else driving a monster truck. And a lot of you, if you've watched this channel, you, you know a lot of that history of me driving different trucks. But that truck, but Shotgun Harry got put in a barn at my grandma's and just kind of was in there with many a pieces, never finished. So in, in 09 is when uh, I decided that I needed to, to dig that project back out and revisit it. And uh, so changed the name idea. I originally was going to run a little Scout uh, pickup truck by, uh, roof on it. It was only going to be a little two-seater. But I decided this would be a fun thing. Um, I never got to do a lot of the stuff in the early days with the monster trucks that everybody else did. Like the floating on the water and, and hauling your friends and just doing a lot of other stuff I never got to do because I got right into the whole racing thing. So... Um, with Shotgun Harry, we decided to use a diesel engine out of a Dodge pickup, so it's got a Cummins engine in it. Um, the thing's very reliable. You can run and drive it all day long, running over cars, floating it on water, doing whatever you want. So uh, that's how it kind of got started. I come up with a, an idea, um, did some sketching and some drawing and some coloring. I had a lot of people laughing at me because I was coloring. They said, oh, adults don't color, but... You know, that's, you got to get the idea and then it, I can have an idea in my head, but it's hard to get everybody else on board. So I actually called some of my friends, uh, Greg and uh, Eric and a couple other guys. I says, hey, here's what I want to do. If we can, let's uh, put this thing together. And uh, if you guys are interested, and of course, everybody started showing up in the evenings when they got off work and we started building it. So after getting the uh, Cummins engine set down in it, we kind of pieced everything back together after digging it out of the barn. And I had tractor tires for it that uh, I got off of Kirk Dabney back in some sort of a trade. And uh, so we kind of pieced it all back together, had the five ton axles. And then uh, I had a red scout when I was a kid in high school and uh, ended up, it, it was laying out behind the the barn and it was in pretty rough shape but the front fenders and everything were good so it became a donor um, for this project so we we pulled it in tore it apart and uh, started to uh, do we put more roll cage in it than back when the original plan was and just did a lot of kind of the newer stuff without being too new I wanted to try to keep it old school and uh, when we came to, uh, once we had everything fitted, then it was time to tear it back apart and start doing the paint work. Um, eventually, it was all painted, and then we needed to do the lettering and everything on it. And I got my sister involved with that. She's a really good artist, so she actually did all the, the emblems and everything on it. It was all painted on, just like it would have been in the 80s before anybody did all the vinyl stuff. 
and uh, had a lot of fun building this project. We, it was quite the ordeal. Everybody was coming over in the evenings and sometimes on their days off from work and uh, we got a lot done in a short amount of time.
the first show that Shotgun Harry was ever at was at the Lima Jamboree in uh, 2010. That's when we got it all finished up. We had a lot of late nights and, and everything, and actually we had it running and driving, but it wasn't totally ready to do anything with yet. But we had it at the Lima Jamboree. Um, my son was was just a little guy. He was like 10 years old or something or 11, and he was having all kinds of fun polishing and cleaning on it. And, and uh, of course, the truck got a lot of attention. Um, my buddy Greg had his scout there, which uh, he had built several years earlier. And uh, we had done the flame job on it and did a roll cage and stuff in it years earlier. And uh, so it was kind of neat to have them both together at the Jamboree. We had a lot of fun at the Jamboree and uh, had no idea how excited people were going to be about the old school monster truck stuff. And this pretty much revived the whole monster truck uh, the old school monster truck industry. Um, Shotgun Harry pretty much revived everything. And uh, Alan Pizzo was there with the original Predator truck. He had actually been rebuilding it and I didn't even realize it. So we got reacquainted and that was a lot of fun. And uh, that truck too actually helped get everything restarted with, with uh, the whole monster truck world. Hey, hit the like and subscribe button if you're liking this. And comment. Tell us who some of your favorite old school trucks were back in the day. And next week we're going to show you more on Shotgun Harry and everything we did with it. And uh, some of the first car crushes with it. And uh, when we floated it on the water and stuff like that. So um, stay tuned. We'll see you again next week.